Okay, we're continuing on with the strategy for black, uh, the attackers here, and um, the. I'll start this video with the most important, one of the most important rules, uh, and that is, don't ref try and refrain from trying to attack the king in the o in the opening. Um, you d you, ne you never want to start attacking the king until after you've secured the perimeter uh, completely and um, and you've started moving the perimeter in and started capturing the pieces and after a few pieces are captured then you can start putting pieces around him. Uh, if he was able to get past your perimeter then uh, you're kind of in big trouble. You're kind of hoping for a draw because it's really hard to, uh, to capture him. Um, to capture him once he once he's past a perimeter, um, you know. Again, you really have to kind of play clever moves. You know, you can once again play this kind of pattern at all the corners. Try to. That'll be a little hard to do, but um, and any white pieces here, you want to try. You, you have to try and pin them. Um, see how he's he's pinned up against here. So, if the king was waiting, just waiting to get there, um, you really got to try and pin him here and hope and try and get to where he can't get captured. <clears throat> because then that guy'll just move away and the king will the king will win. So um, that's why it's it's incredibly important. It's absolutely a must to uh, to secure a perimeter. Um, you're going to greatly reduce your chances if you can't secure a perimeter and the king gets past it. Um, so the next thing that you want to concentrate on is sort of avoiding bad shapes and bad movement. A bad shape would be like a poor distribution uh, over the three outer rows. Uh, if you just have too many men on the on the back row, you know, too many men on this row, too many men, you know, you want to have them kind of evenly distributed. If you're doing the what you should have been doing, um, you, you know, in the first few moves as far as starting to build perimeter, then um, you'll be distributing your men well. Um, you know, just don't want to have a lot of isolated pawns here at the corners. Uh, you know, that that would be bad shape. Um, what are some other bad shapes? Well, like the centerpiece moving forward like that is bad. Um, he's unsupported. And um, this, this, these rows right here is really the the most important one, the, because this is where these two squares are, where the king's trying to get. If the king lands here, the game's over. And you'll see in my video that I'm going to make for for white, you, you're actually aiming. I prefer to aim for these corners, these two corners around here. Those, that's really where it's the escape to. It's really not to the corner. It's really to to these two squares. <clears throat> Um, so you've opened that up by doing that move, and that's 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 really bad. This, this these middle guys here, they they're really they're ninety percent of the time, or ninety five percent of the time, or ninety nine percent of the time, really high. They 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 move sideways, and that's you know pretty much all you need them to do. Um, each guy kind of has his own move that he specializes in. You know, this guy kind of moves forward a lot he can also move to the side but this guy mostly just moves forward um he would move to the side like that to to help him so there's just a couple moves each that the guys do this guy doesn't really do a whole lot in the middle here um in the back row he can't move anywhere at the beginning and then i kind of sometimes i might move him like if this guy gets captured and then i might move him up to to, to take his place at his preferred square um this guy's preferred square, but if he's gone, then I'll, I'll, I might pull him out or something like that. Um, so some other bad shapes would be, you know, again, the centerpiece kind of just moving one space like that. You know, he's blocking him now um, and that, and he's blocking. This is a really, these are really important pieces here um, on the ends. And when you do that, you're just really making a bad move here, here. Is where he belongs. He belongs here or here. If he's here, it's because you you might want to do something like that or something like that. Um, if he's here, it's because you want to do something like this. See, and the king can't get past there. None of these pieces can be captured. This I call kind of is is a corner 
uh, barricade and um, I sort of make those if, if I can't make a perimeter formation first which is all those I showed in a previous video um, and you don't want to have pieces just isolated at the corners like I said uh, like I said so once again don't don't isolate pieces on, on these really bad squares here you want to have them supported and um, so you know those are some bad base shapes and these are the bad corner shapes a good corner shape you know would be something like that at the corners would be good because you can't he can't King can't get past those men. They can't be captured. Um, and just like that same one I keep using, that's a good one. And um, so, uh, you know, good shapes. Centerpiece moving to the side. One of the, one of those two preferred squares. Um, side pieces sort of moving forward. Him kind of moving forward uh, to you know these two guys forward. Um, or in one of those good corner blocks, um, on, and just on preferred squares. I think by now you see that I, I keep kind of moving pieces sort of to this same same general area, same general squares. <clears throat> so you want to get used to that. Um, and once again, real important, support those pawns at those at the corners. Don't isolate. You know, look for the pin if you need to pin this guy here because if the king's coming, pin him in. Um, you know, pin him where he can't he can't move away and the king moves in. Um, so you don't, if you saw my series on edge escape for, for Toblet, escaping to the edge, it's very important in that game to, um, have one or make sure black has one to two pawns on every rank and file, but actually in this version, it's not necessary. When you do secure a perimeter, you are going to have something close to that, which is great, but it's not something that you concentrate on and you don't want to have hopefully you won't have to be in a staggered uh, uh, pawn structure where you don't have any connection at all um, at that point you would you would ma make sure you maintain one to two pieces on every file but but uh, you always got to it's better just to maintain kind of a continuous fence you know that's like 90 or more percent connected um, once again escape is not to the edge so the edge helps black uh, so it's it's absolutely not necessary to control the ranks and fi files as possible. Efficiency should be at your corners, <coughs> near the corners, either a perimeter or a corner block. And so now going on to the mid game. Um, the mid game I define by when one of the sides has achieved its opening goals. And so for for black that would be black had. To, uh, successfully secured about you know 90% of a perimeter around the board um, hopefully it's 100% secure so he can't send any pieces through <coughs> or have any chance but um, and for for white it would be whenever if white has penetrated the perimeter then then the opening would be over and you'd be into the mid game so that's somewhere around move 19 to somewhere around move 13 some, somewhere around there is when the mid game would start and so let's say that you you are successful in making a perimeter that looks something like this two over here let's put another four over here and another two man over here one two so let's say you were able to secure something like this um, now, now is when you want to start capturing white pieces, and you can, you know, just start moving pieces one at a time on every turn. That way you can be ultra safe, which is fine, because you're not worried about anything. You're in complete control of the game. It's okay if the game slows down. You're in, you're in absolutely no more danger when you have something like this. Um, you're, you, you have a 100% chance of not losing. You're either going to, white is either going to, it's either going to be a draw, or white's going to lose. So, you know, you just start, you know, moving up and then and then and then capturing pieces. You know, so you know, well, that wouldn't be good. But you know what I mean. You know, you might not have pieces uh, 
around. So you basically basically just start moving up, attacking pieces. You have to do it strategically so you don't do something stupid like that where you know a guy you you open up a uh, a path for him. But um, so you just move forward strategically. You can do I I move one space at a time. I mean you know obviously you could you know go uh, then that way you know you just sort of keep but I'm, I like to be ultra conservative and be like okay just make sure I don't make a mistake and just move one guy at a time so once again you're in complete control and you're not in any hurry um, and then when you get to the end game uh, well if 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 white has gotten past you um, and it's okay if you have you know pieces out here um, and then you've secured the perimeter. Don't worry. I've had it to be where there's a couple pieces out, and and you know you can you can still get away with um, you know you can still you can still protect them kind of pretty easily to where they can't make a, a giant hole. Um, but if the king's out, then you really it's really important that you make some kind of one of those structures. You, um, it's nearly impossible to surround him on four sides, so if he escapes into your perimeter, you're probably looking for another draw, or you're looking for the king to just sort of give up. Um, but it's when he's gotten out of the perimeter, it's really hard to surround him on four sides, I found. It's easier <clears throat> in the end game. The end game is that's that's how I define the end game is whenever he he hasn't gotten out you've start you've captured a whole bunch of pieces and now you're starting to to easily surround him on four sides that would be the end game started and he's gonna lose he probably would uh, um, you know draw I mean if he does he it's it is easy for him to sort of keep running around and running around and that's why it's important to keep moving up like this so he has because uh, if if you just chase them around with two pieces and you don't move the perimeter and you're just chasing with two pieces, you'll the game will last forever. It won't end. So you have to really get as close as you can. So and then start surrounding them. Uh, so that's pretty much it. I just wanted to. Um, I'll continue uh, the. The next video will be the, on the strategy for, for the king's side in all three phases of the game.